With a potential ban of menthol cigarette products, I found out what impact that could have on Vigo County and the state. Though a ban on menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars would influence tobacco sales both nationally and locally, those who sell these products don't believe this is something that will happen soon. Joe Lackey, president of the Indiana Grocery and Convenience Store Association, says Indiana makes around $20 million per month on tobacco taxes, but the market continues to move downward for tobacco sales. I don't anticipate it's going to happen anytime soon, but in the interim, our tobacco sales are dropping about 5% a year because of people moving away from tobacco products. Uh, and we would anticipate that's probably going to continue. Those who work to make the area more tobacco free believe this is a great step in the right direction. Tobacco Free Vigo, um, we're ecstatic to see that the FDA is moving towards banning menthol products. This is definitely decades of work. Um, to end kind of this this product that that kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. So. Lackey explains that many residents from other states visit Indiana to buy tobacco products due to cheaper prices. In Terre Haute, next door to a state that has tremendously high tobacco prices, you have a lot of people from Illinois coming over to buy tobacco it, right there in Terre Haute. And, and that's good for the state because the state picks up a lot of tax dollars, not from Hoosiers. Knobloch says she will continue the fight against tobacco as it hurts individuals who become addicted to the contents in menthol cigarettes. The end game, of course, we would love all you know tobacco products like that to be removed because it is the number one preventable cause of death. It's highly addictive. Knobloch believes this ban could help to close the gap in health disparities, and by taking these products off the market, it could help individuals who are trying to quit smoking.